Tuna fish for people, 89 cents. Cat food for cats, 59 cents. Mm. I just saved 30 cents. That's not even being cheap. Like, that's, that's just being disturbing. What's up, gamers? Welcome back to Socks Reacts. But today, we're gonna be reacting to the world's cheapest millionaire. I didn't even know that can come like together. Maybe he's been not frugal for that long. He's a millionaire now. Oh, like he barely spent money on anything. So eventually you just become a millionaire? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but what's the, what's the point of becoming a millionaire if you're not gonna spend your money? Well, if you're part of the percentage that is not subscribed, subscribe right now and uh, make sure to check out TLC. I don't know if they care. They put the video together, but they're a company, so I don't know. I keep my water heater turned off. Uh, I need 22 minutes to heat it up enough to get a shower. So I turn it on every morning when I get up. She turns off her water heater? Wow, that's that's quite a big thing. Okay, props to like her saving the planet with like, I'm guessing, you know, shorter showers. But it's not expensive. How much I pay how much for water per month? Like fifteen dollars? Yeah, like when when I think about it, that's like the equivalent of like, you know, some people when they're not using things, they leave them unplugged because they think that they're still using electricity. Yeah, but no, that's it's really cheap. I wait, does this even say how much it is per year? That's it literally cost $500 per year. That's close to nothing. I thought she meant like saving money by not like buying Gucci or something, you know? Handy dandy water heater timer. I set it for like, 22 minutes so that I know exactly when my shower is ready because God forbid I waste an extra minute on that water. God forbid. Oh my God, the world would end. Wait, 22 minutes though, that's kind of a long shower though, you know? I, I mean- Wait, she saves money, but she takes wait, she takes a hot shower. Yeah, but she only has the hot water on for 22 minutes. Yeah, I mean, you're entitled to your comfort. I thought like usually if people are frugal, they'll take the cold ones. Yeah, well, if she was saving money, wouldn't she just do like a five minute cold shower? Yeah. You're not the cheapest millionaire, you're being exposed. My name is Amy Elizabeth, and I'm the world's cheapest multi-millionaire. Mul multi-millionaire. That, that's a big difference. Big difference. Okay. With a personal net worth of $5.3 million. Okay. I, hey. I'm i not too quick like to judge, but this doesn't look like a multi-millionaire like, kitchen. What is that TV? It's from like 1994. <laughs> you know what the thing is? Wait, that, that's unplugged. Oh, I can see. Oh, she does the unplugged thing. She doesn't yeah, you call she does this. The, does she mean cheapest by like all the... This stuff costs like ten dollars. Yeah, she she's a multi millionaire because she's this cheap. That's it. I don't see how that's worth it. This fifty-year-old Las Vegas entrepreneur refuses to throw a single penny down the drain. While we were married, Amy learned how to turn off the circuit breakers to save on power. Boy, do you, how many times I would wake up and forget that the water heater was off. Jump in that cold shower. Talk about shrinkage. Oh. <laughs> Wait, hey, sir. Okay, okay. Hey, he's just being humble. I mean, he's being... Yeah, like, you know, his toes must be shrinking in that shower. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, don't come for us, you two. That looks nice. This is my beautiful home. As you can see, it's full of upscale furniture. I like nice things, but I don't like to pay for them. Wow, I, I think literally anyone would say that. Like, I would like a Lamborghini, but I wouldn't want to pay for it. You know, like... It's so I'm assuming all this stuff's from a uh, garage sale. What did you say, Laugh? Uh, a garage sale. Not did a garage. Did you just say garage? <laughs> I like TBH came at the right. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Works hard to stay well below a $1,000 monthly budget. And although she can't afford a more comfortable lifestyle, she saves more than $200,000 annually by refusing to buy anything new. 200,000? But I don't understand why. Like saving it for what? She must have some sort of goal, right? You're saving for what? No, I, you know, I think it is. She gets it all for free or something. She scavenges it. And that's why she's saving 200K a year. I mean, TB, she's worth 5 million. She, oh, she's worth five million dollars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, just, why is she I, saving? Why is she bugging out about two hundred k? I don't know, man. This is my one sponge. Oh! Some people might think this is a little nasty. Until it's falling apart and rotting, I don't see any reason to throw it away. Over here. What did you I do to SpongeBob? I guard it with my life. It never touches water. I just wipe it down on a towel every time. One knife? It and put it back in the drawer. That is the most saddest drawer I've ever seen. It just holds one knife. Dude, okay, see, if you go to her house and you open that drawer and you see one knife, like, something's been done with that knife, bro. <laughs> she's yeah, like, she's gonna kill you, bro. <laughs> it's like Michael Myers' kitchen. <laughs> 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 
So the way I got the house is when my ex-husband and I decided to divorce, he's got a good heart, and he insisted that I keep the house because he knew that if I didn't keep the house, I would move into a hovel of a one-bedroom apartment. Okay, I don't want no, to no, jump no, to no, conclusions, no. but is all this money just from her ex-husband? <laughs> I said it, dude. I, I don't, but the, she literally said that. All right, so theory time. Maybe they, they work together, they got the house together, you know, she put her half in, he put his half in. Comes to divorce time. Maybe the divorce like 10 years ago or like, well, judging by the TV, 20 years ago, she's kept everything the same since then. Actually, no, I, I'll back you on that. She definitely didn't get anything new. Amy won't pay What are you doing? Her home. So her ex-husband volunteers to do it for free, <gasps> saving her $400 a month. <laughs> I'm glad to help her around the house with the cleaning. I do yard. No, sir, please. You can't be this down bad. I, I, my man is simping. Even though he was divorced, he's simping. Yo, man, it can't be worth it. It can't. I mean, we've seen some really down bad people, especially on Twitter. But I mean, come on. This is like someone breaks your heart, divorces you, and you're cleaning their toilets. I'm pretty sure he divorced her. There's no way. There was no way he would divorce her and then do this. I mean, okay, let's look at the situation, right? Have you seen the one knife that's not even washed? I would divorce her for just for that alone. Yeah, then I would leave. I would run to Brazil. <laughs> One of the times that I noticed that Amy was a cheapskate was I came to her house. She asked me, did I want lunch? So I said, sure. Yeah. She fixed me a tuna fish oh, no. sandwich. Oh. As I'm eating the sandwich, I'm thinking, that's cat food. No. Hey, go back, go back, go back, go back. It's cat food. No. That's cat food, bro. <laughs> You want lunch here? I'll feed you some cat food. That's not even being cheap. Like, that's, that's just being disturbing. Mike, lunch is ready. And then I looked on the countertop and I noticed there were cat food cans that were empty. And I thought, no, she didn't do this. Here, maybe you some tuna fish. Don't okay. eat it, man. No, I don't think Amy has actually ever fed anyone cat food, but uh, I wouldn't put it past her to try. What was that smile, dude? That was the imposter face. That's he the, that's, he's just, he doesn't want to be caught 4K eating yes. cat food. He literally, he doesn't want to admit that he's been eating cat food for the last 10 years. Wait, he's about to do it now, is he not? Yeah, he's literally going to eat cat food in 4K. And she didn't even toast the bread. Shame. That's a real crime. <laughs> Tuna fish for people, 89 cents. Cat food for cats, 59 cents. I just saved 30 cents. Why are you so proud of yourself? Yeah, that can't be. That can't be real. This can't be real, dude. There's, you know, honestly, I'm not the greatest person. I, you know, there's areas I need to improve on, but I mean, come on. It can't be this bad. Look, she has the imposter she, smile she, right they, they share the, they're both the imposters. Dude, they're cats being transferred into human bodies. It makes all sense now. She's going to be saving money by like cleaning herself with her own tongue. I'm calling it. She's a cat. I get income in a variety of ways. Uh, one is managing my rental properties. Uh, the other is managing my investments in a brokerage fund. I don't spend money on business travel. I just think it's a total waste of money because it's not something tangible you get to keep. So I like to find ways to avoid paying for it. I have regular business trips to LA, so I drive my car. My car is a 96 Mustang. It's a pretty good, you know, it's, it is, it's seven different colors. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's a kind of cool car. You know, I would vibe with that. But I mean, what's the point of having rental properties in all of this if you're gonna drive in a car like that? You know? Bro, why are you gonna have the like, rental properties and not spend the money? How she, how she motivated to make money if you're not gonna spend it? Once a month, Amy drives four hours each way to Los Angeles in her 17-year-old car. And while a flight would cost $250, Amy will only spend $80 on gas and $10 on an oil change. I understand she has a slight vibration from the steering wheel. I feel very uncomfortable letting you leave my facility with the car in this shape. We can work with you, give you a good deal on everything. What Think kind of exactly pricing are we talking do. about? All together with everything we're looking at, you're probably looking right over $1,000. <laughs> hey, it's okay. She saved 30 cents on cat food. We're okay. We're fine. She's loaded. Now she's got like five 30 cents. That's like $2. I came here for you to look at it, not for you to take possession of it. I understand. And I'm not... I've got lawyers that'll hit you with lawsuits up the ass. There's no. <laughs> He's literally just caring for your life. Nah, bro. It's a thousand dollars. Not worth my life. <laughs> if I get a few different estimates and it's all the same, then I go home and I decide and I run my calculator. Is it really time for a new car, or do I want to spend a thousand bucks to fix this? But that's my decision. New car. It's not his. New car. She won't even spend a hundred dollars to put a good set of tires on her car. She won't spend. <laughs> I like <laughs> when the, the squad, squad rolls up. Yeah. 
dude. They're like, we don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> hey, Mike, this is Amy. Listen, I need you to come get me at the stupid garage. They say I can't take the car away because it's, hey. it's unsafe on the road. And I got to get to my business meeting tonight. I'm going to have my ex-husband come and pick me up. And the ex-husband is going to have to drive four hours. And he said yes. And he's not even going to get paid. And he's not even, he's doing it all for free, dude. No way. Go to honor. Good shit. Get that done. Yeah, go to honor. Nah, bro, I feel bad. You feel bad? Don't feel bad, all right? Dude, he's doing this on purpose. My man, you have a good smile. You could go, you could do better. I'm on my way to the airport right now, and I'm gonna bum a ride for free. Amy has dated pilots in the past, so she knows her way around airports. I need to see Although this. Although Amy has lost time at the garage and needs to get to- That's illegal! I'm pretty sure that's illegal. <laughs> that's so illegal. She is still not willing to pay for other travel options. She's just walking in the airport with all the planes. How does she know her way around this area? Oh, she's done this multiple times, TBH, all right? She's a pilot master. Okay, why don't you wait here and let me show you how it's done. Oh, all right, I'm, oh, I'm, okay. I'm ready, I'm ready. Well, I need to get a flight to LA. I'm desperate to get there today because I have a business trip. There's a guy out here, you might see him. His name's Mike. Why are they so, I don't understand. Why is everyone so helpful to give her a free flight? They, she must be the luckiest woman alive. There are no way. There, if someone said that, they'll be like, all right, where's the money, right? I mean, that's, that's how business works. You really can't stick out your thumb and get an airplane ride. Once in a while, they get lucky and they find someone who's uh, headed where they want to go. Normally what people would do is uh, just coming out to an airport, they could ask people that are going up and doing test flights or break-in flights. It's just being lucky and being in the right place at the right time. All right, but this makes more sense. I thought it would be like full-on, like, you know, like United Airlines, big Airbus A380 flights, you know, like, but it's just like random guys that own planes. I don't know, bro. If a guy offered me a free flight for a test flight, I'm good. Oh, you, you would say no, right? This My man's working on the engine. That's kind of sus. I'm not getting in that plane. If he's testing <laughs> the flight bro he doesn't even know if it's gonna work i'm <laughs> chilling on the floor bro <laughs> hi mike my name's amy how you doing and the other pilots in the hangar uh suggested i talk to you i'm trying to find desperately a flight to la in the santa monica area oh don't do it dude don't do it yeah i guess that'll be all right it's, it's, it's... <laughs> Is, how's this working can i do this chartering an airplane you would expect it to be in the range of two to three thousand dollars two to three thousand that's how much it costs and she got it for free okay that's actually smart though that's saving money when i go to these extremes and people see this i think it annoys a lot of them but i don't care amy is one of those types that i think will never change her cheapskate ways because it's just been ingrained into her lifestyle for so long that that's the way she is. This is how millionaire cheapskates live. The cameraman is in the flight as well. Okay, now you think she's getting away with all this? No, the, the cameraman's getting all this for free. Yeah, the cameraman's a real cheap. He, he's 10 yeah. steps ahead. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you guys like this video and you want to see more, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Some